Hello, I wanted to make this video to show you a wonderful geometry book for beginners. Okay, that's what this is. This is a good book for beginners or anyone who just wants to learn geometry on their own. This is the kind of book that you can actually pick up and start reading and learning and working through and you can check all of your answers right there in the book with the book. It's just you in the book and something to write with and you're good. Um, you can even write in the book if you want to. It's called Everything You Need to Ace Geometry in One Big Fat Notebook, The Complete High School Study Guide. And geometry is a class that, believe it or not, a lot of people don't take in college. The people who take geometry in college are typically people who are studying to be um, middle school, elementary school, or high school teachers. And they are usually required, at least in the U.S., to take a course in geometry, um, usually like a graduate level course. So a little bit more than this. But other than that, um, this type of math comes up in other areas of math. So like it'll come up in calculus and stuff. Everything you need to ace geometry in one big fat notebook. Workman Publishing in New York. I have several other books by Workman Publishing. I almost have their entire collection. I think I'm missing one or two books of their, of their math and science books. I think I'm missing a few. Um, I think I'm only missing one of their math books. So... Everything you need to ace geometry. This notebook is designed to support you as you work through the major areas of geometry. Consider these the notes taken by the smartest person in your geometry class. The one who seems to get everything and who takes clear, understandable, accurate notes. Yeah, it's like a book of notes. It's, it really is. It really, really is. It's really like, they, they don't make it a textbook. They make it a book, a geometry book, but I mean, I guess it is a textbook, but it's different, right? It's, it's, it's laid out in a different way. Unit 1, Basics of Geometry. Points, lines, and planes, angles, angle pairs, constructions, logic, and reasoning. You're so smart, you're smarter. <laughs> Unit 2, Parallel Lines. Unit 3, Triangles and Congruence. Pictures there, really cool, really cool artwork. Unit four, quadrilaterals and polygons. Just even the contents are nicely laid out. I just love, I love the way these books are laid out. Unit five, geometric transformations. Unit six, similarity. Unit seven, right triangles and trigonometry. Unit eight, circles. Unit 9, Area. Unit 10, Surface and Volume. Unit 1, Basics of Geometry. Nice. Geometry is the branch of mathematics that is the study of shapes, lines, angles, and space, and the relationship between them. An example of geometry is the calculation of a quadrilateral's angles. Here are some key concepts and basic terms used in geometry. So it's got some things, point, line, line segment, ray, vertex, angle, so just things that you should know, and that's good. I like how it does it like this. This is kind of nice. Um, you know, you compare this to um, the introductory section of a book on trigonometry where they're introducing like angles and rays, and they'll do it like in paragraph form and they'll put things in bold. This is a lot, it's like they've, they've taken that and they've cleaned it up, you know? And then here's a couple more, triangle, parallel lines, perpendicular. Then it goes into more detail here, lines. Cool, so cool. What a great book. Planes, look at this. You talk about planes. Plane geometry deals with flat shapes such as squares and triangles. Flat shapes are two-dimensional or 2D. A plane is a flat surface, two-dimensional, that extends infinitely in all directions. Cool. Yeah. If you study Calculus 3, um, you study equations of planes in space. So that's pretty cool. And look, they have, they have uh, let me show you the exercises. It's really cool when you get to the exercises. So check your knowledge, right? So you've got, you've got exercises here. Let's see what we got. So name three uh, collinear points. Name three coplanar points. Just naming things, okay? And then just some... Simple questions here, and then you turn the page, answers, and look, we have the answers right here, right there, so you can check your work right away. So it's really nice, and that's the structure of the entire book, basically. So you have, you know, some content, you have some 
check your knowledge, and then you have check your answers. The next one's on angles. Again, just very, very nice layout. Um, perfect for learning, right? Perfect for learning. Really, really wonderful. Geometry is one of those th uh, topics that comes up also in the, um, in the GRE. Uh, GRE is called the Graduate uh, Record Examination, that's what it stands for. And so people who are going to graduate school, it's, it's, it's a test, just the general GRE. I believe it's still math and just like English. So you have like English stuff and then you have some, some basic math. And geometry is one of the things that comes up on that test. Check your knowledge, check your answers. Cool. There's other good geometry books. You can get like an actual geometry textbook uh, instead of getting something like this. The difference is like for the money, like you'd probably have to get like a used geometry textbook. And even then they're not super inexpensive for some reason used geometry textbooks aren't like, I don't know, I've looked and like sometimes it's like, oh, I don't wanna pay that much. So I have some geometry textbooks, but I don't have that many. I probably have about five or six, maybe seven. This one though, is special again and I, I want to make the video about this one because this one is it's newer it's available right like it's actually available you can actually sorry, I just got to smell it oh it smells so good you can actually just like go online and buy it. it's like in print widely available you know it's you know it's something you can buy and it's affordable compared to um, actual like textbooks you know if I compare it to like an actual textbook um, the price of a new textbook compared to this is you know, very, very different. So super, super affordable, great for beginners. And they have other books. They have one on computer science. I'll try to leave a link to that one uh, as well. And they have a couple on math, uh, algebra books and stuff like that. Algebra for middle school students and uh, algebra for, uh, for high school students. Yeah, look at all these. Check your answers, like, just perfect. Perfect, right? Perfect. It's just so good that they have this layout. It's like these tiny little groups. And look at this. Let me show you something. I didn't show you this. Check this out. This is really cool. Look at this. Look, it's color coded. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So like, let's see, let's go to yellow. Okay. All right. Let's go to blue. This is kind of nice. Things are, things are a little bit, you know, they're color coded. It's just, it's fun. I, I think it's fun they do that. So. So you have orange, 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 and then blue. That's unit three. And then the next one would be, let's see. This would be unit four. Cool, right? So it's all color coded, which makes it really cool. Yeah, anyways, awesome book. Until next time, good luck and take care.